The thing that I believe Northern Ireland schools need to leave in the past is how we have organised learning. For too long we have been stuck in our ways. We have always taught this way. 2020 has been the strangest year of my life and we have had to learn patience and the ability to adapt quickly to any situation. We have been pushed out of the classroom and made to engage with technologies in new exciting ways. We have been forced to scaffold learning differently. We have had to push ourselves to meet our students where they are at, engaging with them, following up, encouraging, supporting in different ways. We have learned more about remote and blended learning and we need to keep running with this. We need to leave our staid traditional teaching methods behind us and organise learning using technology. We do in fact teach to the test, we only prepare for what will be examined. Maybe it's time for us to revisit the purpose of school. Politicians would lead us to believe that our main purpose is to act as babysitters so that parents can return to work. We need to leave this behind and find a new definition of why kids should come to school. One thing that I believe that Northern Ireland schools should embrace for the future is that we need to do better to level the educational playing field. We need to work harder to solve the social disadvantages that still impact some of our students. We need to tackle underachievement and the digital divide. We need to find new ways to challenge the apathy that some students and parents have towards the value of education. We need to make sure that we can help to continue to develop emotionally rounded, resilient young people who have a passion for learning. But we also need to make sure that our teachers are the best trained and best supported professionals that they can be. Teacher professional development needs to be cutting edge, expansive, research driven and needs to be led by experienced practitioners who can engage and enthuse teachers. Daniel Willingham noted that teaching, like any complex cognitive skill, must be practised to be improved and we need to develop a new approach so that teachers can develop their subject knowledge and their pastoral and leadership skills.